Brad, firstly, you're very welcome to, to Dublin, to Ireland. Um, what are your initial impressions? And, and maybe give us, the Leinster supporters, some thoughts on why you decided to move to Leinster. Um, oh, I'm pretty excited to be here. Um, uh, obviously, I've been here a few times with the All Blacks, and I've always had a great time in Ireland um, and in Dublin. So, uh, um, yeah, it's exciting to uh, come to a great club and, uh, and hopefully to play some good rugby and, and get to a feel of uh, actually living here for a little bit. What do you actually know about Leinster? Um, and would you have seen much of them before, maybe Heineken Cup or, or League in, in recent years? Yeah, I know they've been very successful. Um, they've uh, won a couple of Heineken Cups and you know, a good bulk of uh, the Irish team come from Leinster. Um, so uh, I know they're very successful. They have high standards and uh, it's pretty exciting to, um, to, you know, to, to be part of it and a real challenge to me. So, yeah. Obviously, Joe Schmidt, John O'Gibbs, Greg Feek, uh, hail from, from your homeland in, in New Zealand. Uh, there's a couple of players like Easton Athewa, Matt Burkus as well. So, do you know them? Would you have played amongst or alongside or against them? Maybe enjoyed some battles over the years against them? Yeah, well, with John O, um, uh, against um, Greg Feek. Uh, played quite a bit of rugby with, with Greg. Uh, uh, got to know him with the scrummaging and stuff. Uh, and Matt Burkus, uh, he was at the Crusaders last year. so. Um, had a lot of great stuff about Joe as a coach, so it's pretty exciting. It's really cool. Um, um, you know, I know a few guys here, um, and I'm going to get to meet a whole heap of other guys, guys I've played against at international level. So it's exciting, and um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. One of the areas that Lens are very proud of is the supporter base, and um, hopefully for your first game could be against the Ospreys. There's already over 16,000 supporters gone for that. There's 46,000 tickets sold for the quarter final of the Heineken Cup at the start of April. Um, so I suppose there's there's big expectations, but also a big support base. What does what does that tell you about maybe the club that you've just joined? Oh, it's just great. Um, you know, I've always said with crowds, I don't care if they're for me or against me, as long as they're there. And the more of them that are there, there that it's great. And, but uh, obviously the Leinster fans are you know, right behind this team and uh, they come out and show that by coming out in numbers. And um, I'm sure there are going to be great atmospheres and hopefully I can, um, you know, if I get selected, you know, I can uh, be amongst it. It's been a very exciting last few months for you. Um, since the World Cup success, congratulations on that, by the way. And uh, Seems and having like a long time ago, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and subsequently having played in Japan. What what was it like playing in Japan? And and probably perhaps give us an insight into what the the aftermath of winning the World Cup was like for you. It must have been a, a career ambition. Oh, it was massive, huge uh, moment. I was in tears after the game, and uh, I can't remember another time in my career. You know, where I've been that way. Um, so much went went into it. Uh, the the whole country uh, just went off. Um, parades uh, in Auckland. We had 170,000 people or something on the streets. So it's huge for the country. Huge for us as the All Blacks. Uh, the amount of work that went into that. Um, basically, we had the parades. Then I went home, uh, packed my house, and by the following Monday, I was uh, in Japan. And I played uh, the following weekend. Started <laughs> so. I haven't really stopped. I've been either playing or training for up to 15 months now. It's probably it's the longest I've done this in my career. So I see that as a challenge as well. You know, I, I see it as a challenge to come here and uh, I want to uh, perform well. You know, I want to uh, um, do well and, uh, and you know play you know honour this jersey and and uh, the fans and that and uh, try my best. So. I had a great time in Japan, but I'm happy for this uh, little adventure for the next couple of months.